you've seen celebrities from Kendall Jenner, Selena Gomez, and Gigi Hadid supporting these micro sunglasses. John Lennon. But is this trend an eyesore when it comes to your health? First of all, let's just talk fashion. I don't I, love the look. Well, yours, are, <laughs> yours are kind of cool. Do you look very retro? I actually think it's kind of a cool look. I used to wear glasses like this. So I'm just going to go out on a limb and, and from a fashion perspective sake, say this is a bust. I, I don't love, I don't love the look. But could this be harmful? Travis, you're making a mockery of these sunglasses. <laughs> <laughs> yes, I am. Yes, I am. I would say that these tiny sunglasses, the fashion right now is they're being worn on the end of your nose. I mean, I say like sunglasses, what sunglasses? I mean, these are so small, these lenses aren't doing anything, especially like this and really small ones and they even get smaller. Well, so I think the fashion is this very, very small trend, but my big concern is the ultraviolet exposure, certainly for the skin, but I'm also curious if you could explain how it affects the eye. Oh, definitely. We know that the UV radiation from the sun increases the risk of cataracts, macular degeneration, people getting brown spots on the whites of their eyes, bloodshot eyes. So we know the UV is bad for your Ter eyes. Pterygia. Pterygium, <laughs> pinguiculi. I mean, the list goes on and so on. So you recommend, so I'm assuming to your patients, sunglasses that have really broad exposure over your eyes, preferably even the wraparounds to some extent. I know that guys, guys who, uh, like you, who are ophthalmologists, tell me if I'm ever going out mountain biking or gonna be active, make sure they fully wrap around so that sunlight isn't coming in through the sides. When do you know if your sunglasses are too skinny? You, you do look pretty hip with I those. have to say, these are great if you're a mom because then your kids know when you're upset. You bring the glasses down so and you give them the eye. So when, I think these are, they so, have So say place. you're buying a pair of Not glasses. Not ultraviolet protection though. How do you know when you're getting enough coverage? Do you have a, a litmus test or is it just basically if, if sun can come in from every angle, it's probably too well, small. Let me put those on again. Mm -hmm. So if you're getting sunglasses thinking it's jewelry for your face, they're really not going to be effective, first of all. And okay. this is like jewelry. It right, does look good. Yeah, it's, it's just an accessory, but, but, right? I mean, just, just look. I mean, you've got no protection of the eyes. Even if you wore them up like this, turn to the side, you see sun is coming around and hitting the skin in the eyes right there. So, and that's where you age, too. Mm -hmm. 100%. Totally. Thinnest skin on your body. That's where you're going to start to get crepey, brown spots, oh, wrinkles, and, skin and cancer. Sunglasses yeah. are on that list of our ways to protect yourself from those, those harmful UV rays. We talk about the floppy hat and the SPF and reapplying the SPF mm -hmm. and protecting the lips and the ears. Sunglasses, but not these, right? So buzz yeah. or bust? Bust. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Doctor, <laughs> always appreciate it. Thanks.